Hi, today's the second installment of our video series on the basics of speaker placement and setup. And we're going to continue on the theme of bookshelf speakers and center channels today. For all you floor standing speaker owners, don't worry. Future videos are going to cover the specifics of, of those types of products. One of the things that we talked about in the last video was to make sure that if you can, you get your center channel or your bookshelf speakers, if they're going to be mounted in a cabinet or a bookshelf, as close to ear level as possible. But there's always going to be some situations where you don't have the luxury of, of doing that. Um, in the case where you've got to have the speaker on a low shelf or the center channel on a, on a low shelf in a cabinet, what you want to do is to tilt the speaker upward so that it's firing at ear level. Now, one of the uh, members of our, of our forums actually tried this out on his center channel and found that there was an improvement in clarity when he did that. Now, our center channels can actually be ordered so that the angled section is on the bottom of the speaker instead of the top, which will naturally have the speaker sitting up at an angle. So that's something to keep in mind. If, however, you've already purchased your center channel and you're changing your, your setup, your installation, you can easily buy something like a, a rubber door stop to help angle the cabinet. My brother-in-law actually uses hockey pucks for this, which, which also works well. Now, one of the things I didn't mention in the last video was should we do anything or be concerned about the fact that the speaker is sitting right on a shelf? And all of our small center channels and our bookshelf speakers come with some small rubber self-adhesive bumpers. These should definitely be installed if you're going to be placing the speaker directly on a shelf. The reason is, is by installing four of these bumpers, you've got four small contact points to the shelf which will minimize the amount of vibration that's transferred into the shelving unit into your cabinet and prevent it from rattling items that, that you have there. Now, there was also a case we suggested if the speaker can't be put so that it's at ear level to put it slightly above ear level. Now, what happens if you have to put the speaker in a high shelf like this one here or you're going to be mounting it uh, using a wall bracket on the wall. You want to do the same thing as if it's at a low position. You want to tilt the speaker downwards towards ear level. Now if you use something like our, our full metal bracket to mount the, the speaker to a wall, you have adjustment. So you can adjust the angle to get that position so that it's firing at, at ear height. If you don't wall mounted and you're going to be putting it in the cabinet again use something to prop the back of the speaker up and angle it down towards the listening position. Now there's one other instance where you've got a shelf opening that doesn't actually allow you to have your bookshelf speaker oriented vertically which is the way we prefer it and we prefer that because of the horizontal dispersion if you put the speaker on its side, that now becomes the vertical dispersion of the speaker and forces what was the vertical to become the horizontal. All this means is you won't get as smooth a response off axis. But there are some cases where you can't help that and you are forced to put the speaker on its side. Now again, because of the shape of our Axiom speaker cabinets, that will actually angle the driver array upward slightly. If you don't want that, apply this doorstop or hockey pucks or whatever to make the front of the cabinet vertical. Now people will ask, should the tweeters, if I have to put the speakers on the sides, should they be on the inside or on the outside? That's going to be something you're going to have to try out in both positions to see how it works. Generally, if the speakers are fairly close to the sidewalls, you're going to want the tweeters on the outside. And that's just because of the way the reflection that reflected information is going to reach the listening position. But this is purely trial and error. You should try it in both, in both orientations to see which one sounds smoother and better to you. 
So hopefully there's a few more tricks that you can try applying to your, your setup that should result in improved sound quality. Thank you.